somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This is season one, episode three. Visit the Garden Gnome Emporium. <laughs> These titles have been <laughs> something else so far. Uh, a lot of fun in this series, so I'm excited to see where we go. Yeah, we saw him uh, using some of his powers last episode, so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see him use them even more. Uh, big man's got a big mission ahead. Excited to see where this one goes. Very excited. First two were good. Looking for more? Let's go! That's gonna turn it's out like to be a claw, <laughs> bird claw. It's the it's claw. The claw. <laughs> You're afraid. You're of the terrified claw. of the claw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm Percy. It's nice to meet you. Hmm. I come running out of that chair. At. We're gonna get a jump scare. I was told a quest isn't a quest until you've said so. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Run. You seem busy. I'll come back. Well, that's, uh, lovely. Come on. You shall go west <laughs> and face the god who has turned and you shall find what was stolen and see it safely return <laughs> I can't believe like my this car <laughs> this quest will proceed toward the underworld where you will confront the god who has rebelled against his brother hades the entrance to hades domain lies under the city of los angeles from which you will choose to oh, okay. join you on this quest wow and ensure Lucas. That we succeed. Annabeth. Are you sure you don't want to hear more? Zeus's master bolt. It's going to be hard to get, yes. Extraordinarily. And if the mission required someone to push me down a flight of stairs for it to succeed, you want someone who won't hesitate when they do it. The first quest mate shall be Annabeth Chase. <laughs> yeah. The invisibility helps. Yep. Dude, what have you been eating? <laughs> I'm not trying to antagonize you. I'm just genuinely curious. Good thing this ain't the Walking Dead, boys. Uh. The old Pegasus would be gone. No, they can fly away. They'd be all right. You sure? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I missed your selection ceremony. I've been, you know. <laughs> Shoveling <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Mr. D wasn't too happy you told me about my mom. No. No, he was not. Who'd you choose to go with you? You. How many does he get to take? You shall be betrayed by the one who calls you friend and fail to save what matters most in the end. I'm going to pack the best snacks. <laughs> nice. Snacks are good. Oh, best beef, beef jerky. Gearing up for like a 12-hour road trip at the gas station. It's, it's a wild time in, in snack shopping. <laughs> How much money did they give you? $200 in cash and bag of these. Canadian, huh? maybe? <laughs> Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. The one has an octopus. They're yeah. golden drachmas. Dollars for human world, drachmas for mythic world. Don't mix them up. I brought you this. Still shame on me for thinking Lucas was a, a heel. Yeah. Well, they just said he's going to be betrayed by a friend, so we're not sure yet. Oh, are they going to have Interesting. wings on him? Bye. Yep. Mm -hmm. A gift from my dad. Bye. I thought about choosing you before I chose Grover. Hey, Grover's a lot stronger than people think. I was afraid. I have a chance to rescue my mom from Hades. I can't let anything stop me. If it gets in the way of the quest, Annabeth might try to. And Just take care of each other out there. You think they'd let him form a whole team? Yeah, no okay. For more success. They're, you're going against Hades. Can I have the best swordsman and the, uh, the girl with the invisibility hat and Grover? Well, you never know. It might be one of those missions where you just can't have everybody there. When Annabeth first arrived here with Thali and Luke, they were being chased by monsters. Mrs. Dots? Yes. Thalia turned back to fight to buy her friends some time. Her satyr protector tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. Zeus intervened to save her life and changed her form. The most powerful being in the universe's best idea to save his daughter's life was to turn her into a tree. 
<laughs> she was the bravest demigod I ever knew. She might have pine cones fate. Forbidden children <laughs> are always soon. in danger. <laughs> even the strongest ones, even Thalia, do exactly as I say, and maybe you survive this. Does she think she's in charge? Are they gonna walk to LA? Oh, look. They have made and broken empires. There we go. Change the balance of power on Olympus. A quest is a sacred thing. And to be charged with one is to be in conversation with the gods themselves. I was gonna say, they're not. $200, you're not gonna be able to take a flight across the country. No. Yeah. But if this is so important, why didn't Chiron spring for plane tickets? <laughs> <laughs> Percy, it isn't just the monsters who are gonna be trying to stop us. Zeus might decide to take a shot at you himself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no one mentioned that. I was just going to say, that would have been some great detail to know before going yeah. on this. I want to vote. Who thinks that we should Can't all go get to breathe them. fresh air and buy our own snacks? There's no voting. <laughs> Chips and soda is okay for you guys? I want to vote on whether you get to decide we don't. <laughs> Over, please. Can you help your friend? I really don't want to be a tiebreaker. Oh, golly, the road's getting bumped because I got me some friends who just can't get along. <laughs> Look he's giving them. Dude, Song. what are you doing? You get a few rounds in and you'd be amazed at how disagreements just kind of... Chips and soda's okay for you guys? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Percy could just go up and do it. <laughs> They both can go. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, I don't oh, like the music. Oh no. That yeah, was that was dots. Monsters can't be avoided entirely. The trick is to spot them first before they spot you. It's true they are more likely to sense a more powerful demigod. Child of the big three, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades is at the most extreme risk. But it isn't your power exactly that draws them. They smell fear. That's bees. <laughs> what a monster senses kind of depends on the monster. Some are better at sensing your inadequacy. Some your need for glory. <laughs> Wherever your armor is weakest, that monster is probably coming right for it. If you guys were better at your job, I might not have noticed you here so easily. You're not the frightened little girl I came for all those years ago. Either way, now it would seem that you're exactly what they say you are. The pride of Athena's offspring. Perhaps the most formidable demigod child alive. I'm here to collect your friend. Collect them? For what? No, oh, I don't question orders. Bring him in quick and quiet. That is what I was told. Lure him off this bus where I can take him quietly away from so many eyes, and your quest goes on unimpeded and unburdened. We both know he isn't going to be of any help to you, and maybe even a hindrance. Guys, you need to open <laughs> that window. Now! Oh, oh boy. No. There's... Nobody can see her except mm -hmm. them, right? Well, they, well they, they see that. Oh, no. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Jeez. Got her. Why not just toss that one at the other lady? Well, a little crowded there, I suppose. What's the standard path? It's a road through the wilderness. Harder to track us. If we stay in the wilderness, how are we going to find a phone? What do we need a phone for? So we can call camp? We don't need help. We're fine. We haven't even gotten to Trenton. <laughs> I would say we're the opposite of fine. We were sent on a quest by the Oracle. It's supposed to be hard. If we call camp, we're basically saying it was a mistake to choose us. Why are you so afraid of who you are? Do you know what's interesting about this particular satyr path is it's actually the one my Uncle Ferdinand took when he set out on his own quest. What was that supposed to mean? Afraid of who I am? I'm not afraid. Yes, you are. You know, you are part of something so much bigger than we can understand right now. You don't want to call camp. Fine. At least let's call your mom. I'd call my father, but we aren't exactly on speaking terms. You know, because of the lifelong neglect and all, but <laughs> you and your mother seem close, so... Grover, will you explain to your friend that he needs to pull himself together? When was the last time she talked to you? Grover. He's my protector. It's his job. He was my protector first. First? What do you mean first? Thalia, Luke, and Annabeth had a satyr protector. That was you. Why didn't you tell me? Do you guys smell that? Grover, I'm not kidding. No, neither am I. Just hamburgers. I can go for a good, uh... It's a trap. Good smash burger right now. As long as they're not cooked well done. You had a well done one? Another time. <clears throat> the worst. Okay. I like that. There's the 
Roll now the garden down. gnome. No. Oh. Uh -oh. And she's there. Oh, oh. oh, come on. Are we gonna what? Did see that hand was missing the claw? Yeah, I thought was of that, that from in the jar? jar? Anyone wanna guess what M is short for? Oops. You should have accepted my offer when you had the chance. Not today, friends. Not on my doorstep. Oh, don't don't do that. Oh, shoot. Why not come inside and I'll help? Oh, it's Medusa. All those statues are... Yeah, people, yeah, people she that, turned to stone. Yeah. She won't bother you as long as you're with me. But it isn't as though she'll leave either. Not if it means reporting that she failed to retrieve the son of Poseidon. It's a pleasure to meet you, son of Poseidon. I'm oh, Medusa. Look, look at Medusa. Percy, don't. Wait, She's should a monster. we be looking at the TV? We all choose uh -huh. who we make our <laughs> monsters, but right now, that one wants to tear you limb from limb, and I'm offering you lunch. I think we can trust her. What? Dude. My mom used to tell me her story. The point was always, she isn't what people think. And I definitely trust my mom. I kind of feel like we're like getting a Cody Rhodes story. <laughs> Finish the story. <laughs> I left snacks on the table while I get something proper going. You think it's safe to eat? I'm really hungry, and I'm ready to take that chance. <laughs> <laughs> You're concerned I would hold a grudge against you simply because you are a daughter of Athena, and you and I might have more in common than you think. I do like the dynamic of Medusa because they can't look at her. Mm -hmm. So you're not a monster. What are you then? A survivor. It's a fury out there that seems terrified of you. I don't like bullies. When one shows up on my doorstep, they end up spending a lot more time there than they planned for. <laughs> <laughs> what my mother did to you wasn't a gift. It was a curse. You are loyal to your mother. You love her? Of course I do. And so did I. Do you know the story of how I came to be this way? I do. <laughs> Athena was everything to me. I prayed to her. I made offerings. I wasn't like you, sweetheart. I was you. I would have worshipped her that way for a lifetime in silence. But then one day, another god came and he broke that silence. Your father. You see, God told me that he loved me. But then Athena declared that I had embarrassed her and I needed to be punished. She decided that I would never be seen again by anyone who would live moving? to tell the no. tale. Oh, I didn't notice that till now. The hair's moving like that. That's so is that cool. snakes? They want us to blame ourselves for their own shortcomings. That is not what happened. And you are a liar. Better watch your She's tone. She's kind of looking at her, too. Yeah, there's been a couple moments where she... Yeah. Would you give me a hand in the kitchen? No. Uh -oh. I think lunch is ready. Put you in the oven like Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> No idea. Get ready to run. Look at all the buns. That is Burgers. food for a lot of people. She's not usually like that. She's going to betray you. I don't think she's like that. Then you will be an easy mark for her when the time comes. <laughs> easy mark. What do you care? Your mother and I, we're like sisters in a way. Targeted by the same monster. So I find myself feeling protective of you. My mom never talked about my dad that way. Where is she now? Your mother. Is she safe? No, she's not. And do you trust your friends to help you to make her safe? I could help you remove them from the equation. Uh, there it is. Drive a wedge. Mm -hmm. There's the big there's reveal. The snakes. Uh oh, she's going after him. Yeah. Boy, I like how they're keeping Medusa's face blurred out and hidden. A real nice Not touch. Well, we can't look at her, otherwise we become statues, beef too. Sticks. Nice. Well, still waiting. Oh, oh look at those eyes. Oh, look, look at the this. hair. <laughs> He's got the shoes on. Oh, Grover's got the shoes on. They went in the basement. Yeah. Who goes and hides in the basement? <laughs> well, they had the it's like a creature outside, and she's inside. It's like in horror movies when they go upstairs, you know? Kane oh. is coming. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoa. So now they're going to have a bob and weave and duck and dive behind all of them? Here's the plan. I'll get in the air. 
I'll draw her attention as soon as you hear me say Maya. You guys start. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Off. <laughs> so we're gonna need a new plan. That's a big room. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the Ark is in there somewhere. Oh, sorry. You could choose to save your mother instead of doing your father's bidding. If neither of you will help teach these lessons, perhaps you should be the lessons. When I ship your statues to Olympus, maybe that will get my point across even better. Let's have a look at you. No, no. Don't look. Don't do it. Now. Oh, that was oh. a nice touch. Whoa. Whoa. I was wondering how they were going to do that. Did you literally just... Did you uh, yep. Better get a bag. I didn't have that on my uh, Percy Jackson bingo board. <laughs> Decapitation. Oh, man. You found it? Hope so. Make sure it's pointing in the right direction before you take my hat off. My hands are kind of full. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, nice. oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah. Right midair. Oh, damn. So this is going to be a, a weapon. A very, a very powerful weapon Good. to have mm -hmm. with them. Yeah. What is it? I'm going for it in that. Oh, no. This is as far as he got on his quest. He's not like the others. He he doesn't look afraid. <clears throat> you, use the, um, you use the head to get rid of Electo? Yeah. Good. That was the right move. Oh, uh, we probably should get going. But what are we going to do with the head? We can't just leave it for someone to find. Leave the hat on and bury it in the basement. That ought to keep it safe. Uh, no, I you can't, can't get with because you. Because then that's, you need the hat. Sure. You could have saved your mother. Is your mother still alive? She's with Hades. What are you actually doing oh, on this quest? And why do I have to hear snap. about this from Medusa? Okay, while we're at it, you should have accepted my offer. And why do we have to hear it from Electo? Enough! The hat was a gift from her mother. It's the only thing she's ever possessed that connects them. That ought to matter to you. Yeah, Okay, but how are we gonna make sure this thing is safe? I'm not up to that yet. Really? His mom's alive. Can you imagine how confusing that must be for him? Feeling like he may have to choose between the fate of the world and the fate of the only person who's ever cared about him. All day, I've been trying to keep this quest on track without upsetting either of you. But maybe things need to get a little upsetting before they move forward. Yeah. Well, there we go. Sometimes that's how it is. What are you so afraid of? What are you talking about? You heard me. You've been fighting with her. You've been fighting with me. Because the oracle said one of you would betray me. You shall be betrayed by one who calls you a friend, and you shall fail to save what matters most in the end. That's the rest of what she said to me. I chose her because I couldn't imagine we'd ever be friends. And I chose you because I thought if I can count on anyone to be on my side, no matter what, it was you. I don't know what to think or who to trust. Got it a little tough, doesn't he? I didn't mean it that way. Electo offered to help our quest if I gave you up to her. What did you say? I killed her sister. But do so offered to help me save my mom if I turn to the two of you. <laughs> we all made deals. Mm -hmm. well, well, they had offers. Offers. <laughs> <Help her head. laughs> Gave her the old hee ho. We can decide that as long as the three of us are together. None of us are going to be alone. But we choose each other. Family. I think I've got a better idea what to do with this. She ships these things all over. Some of it goes to Olympus. You can't ship Medusa's head to Olympus. Why not? Because the gods won't like it? At all. <laughs> at all. At all. Why? That's what you do with dangerous stuff. They will see this as impertinent. I am impertinent. <laughs> <laughs> Hermes Express. Uh, whoever opens it. Part of your mom's still with us. He's got to turn it face down. It's definitely. And let them know what's in there so they don't accidentally turn it upright. I don't think he's going to do any of that. There are actual dangers involved here that cannot be. Oh, he's going to do it. <laughs> You're going to sing the song, aren't you? Does he remember the words? The roads get whatever. Uh-oh. So... I don't know. Oh, look oh, at that. Floor 600. Hey! hey! It's Lynn. Lynn. <laughs> 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 
Mount Olympus Causeway. <laughs> Causeway. You guys are not gonna believe this. Oh, that's it. Oh, All there right. You go. They, uh, oh, look at that. What do we got over here? They don't do post credits, do they? No, they they just go and they do a yeah, preview. Is that yeah. the yeah, coming it's up? Always sneak yeah, always for the next one. Nice. You know, and I'll just double check here. <clears throat> right, go back over here. Here. Uh, okay, it's yep. just for the next week. Okay. The next episode. Well, all right. Nah. This one. Okay, this one really set it off for me and got me interested in the series to another level because I was wondering how they were going to do the story mm -hmm. with Medusa given that this is a quote-unquote, I guess, kind of a kid's show. Uh, as soon as I saw Medusa, I knew where the story was going, you know, familiar with Clash of the Titans and a number of other stories, but I'm like, how are they going to take her head off? Because that's what <laughs> Perseus does, right? And I'm like, how are they going to pull this off? And it was brilliant. They put the invisibility hat on her, and then they could cut it off, and it would be implied, but you wouldn't see it. That was, that was really brilliant by the writers on this one. I, I think... You know, Medusa's kind of, I don't want to say everybody's favorite, but it's a character that many people know, I think, even if you're not a huge fan of Greek and Roman mythology, whatever it might be, but, or if you're not, you know, I uh, haven't seen Clash of the Titans or the, you know, the originals, but this was really cool. I really liked the character of Medusa. I like mm -hmm. how she was done. They didn't give you the whole picture right away they kept her face hidden they kept her eyes hidden even the snakes were kind of tucked up underneath the hat until we got kind of the big reveal at the end so that was really good and by far my my favorite battle that that they've had uh in the original if some of you may know perseus used the reflection in the shield to do it i was i didn't know if that was going to happen if our guy was going to get a shield to kind of do it but brilliant the way it was done this one was a lot of fun we're starting to see our three characters kind of come into their own a little bit now that they've been able to separate from camp they've been able to give these three actors obviously more screen time to kind of develop their characters we're starting to get their personalities a little bit and i was glad to see grover kind of step up at the end and you know be more than just kind of i don't want to say the punching bag for the group because that's not accurate but just being the guy who kind of sits back and tries to do the hey hey can we, can we stop fighting can we stop fighting and you know somebody who had to be the voice of reason a little bit there i really liked that and it was good that they got the secrets out because if you're going on a quest and a journey you can't be second guessing your teammates that are with you so that was really good but overall this is by far my favorite episode of the series i think because i really enjoyed the the battle with uh, medusa as short as it was but it was incredibly clever and well done yeah obviously this quest is uh the this is the big, you know, big vehicle that's supposed to drive this this season is them going on this quest and how they're going to go about doing it. And like, you know, we always joke about what Lord of the Rings, the Eagles, just uh, ride the Eagles. Take just like here, plane. I'm just like, take a plane. I mean, granted, <laughs> they gave you two hundred dollars. That's not exactly going to get you from New Jersey. Well, cheap all the way, maybe, com, maybe, maybe to Trenton, you know, take, it's take like, Spirit Airlines. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we love you, Spirit Airlines. But uh, so we saw they're doing a bus because obviously Zeus, he rules the sky. So he, it's like serving him up on a platter. So I thought that was rather interesting in how they explained that. And so then we saw that they each got an ultimatum, you know, as to, you know, turn on the other two or turn on Percy. And they chose not to because they know there's a there's a bigger matter at hand here. And like it was interesting that Percy was told that one of a, one of someone you call your friend may betray you or will betray you in the end and so now we got to go through this wondering if it's Annabeth or if it's Grover so their thing is no secrets no lies this way maybe that won't happen mm -hmm. but we don't know what will happen you know in the end when it comes to saving the mom or saving yeah. what's supposed to be you know the whole earth so to speak so and then how they played medusa where she has the hat like that i thought that was great and all the callback to uh well 
remember gargoyles, but the, the claw was off on one of them. And the very beginning of the episode, there was one in the jar up in the attic where he saw the Oracle. And that was a great way to bring it, bring back the Oracle was, yeah. was her, was his mom's boyfriend that yep. we all, we all loved from the first episode. <laughs> but yeah, uh, references gargoyles. Yes. Yep. That's such a, that was a fun, that was a fun that. cartoon. I was wondering. That was a fun cartoon, but uh, yeah, so that was a great call back there. And yeah, this was just such a fun episode. I was surprised. I think it was because he's worried about one of them turning on him, which is like he kind of explained. He never thought he'd be friends with Annabeth, so that's why he didn't cho choose Luke. Otherwise, yeah, I would have I would have right. taken Luke and best swords, but then I would have taken Annabeth and Luke's. But he needs he needs Grover, so I, I, that was a tough decision. But all in all, this is really good because it's setting us on the right path for a fun series. Yeah, I thought this was a, this was a lot of fun. This episode, you know, it's interesting when you have um, this major quest in front of you, and you have three people who, obviously, um, Percy and Grover are close, but uh, Percy's worried about his friend betraying him, but Annabeth and isn't close with either of them, and it's like if you're going on some epic journey, you know, you want to have. You know, you want to have your, you know, your Sam, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you want to have somebody you can count on, but you want to have, uh, look, you want, everybody's got to have everybody's back. And I think this is a good episode that kind of put them through some trials. Um, they had opportunities to kind of make the decisions that would, you know, further their own interests, but not be the best for the group. And they all pass on those, which I think really helped, you know, kind of solidify their bond. And I think that was important to show for what's coming up because, <laughs> you know, if, 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 if they kind of just have the easy road and then things get hard, you know, you, once you get closer to the prize, you're not really sure what direction you're going to take. And, you know, they've established pretty early on in the trip, I haven't even made it to Trenton that uh, <laughs> that you know, know there's a they're force. going to be doing the the right thing in the face of adversity for the group so I think that was well established I think they did a very good job with Medusa it was cool how they mm -hmm. kind of hit her eyes gave you a little bit showed a little bit of her hair but she was classy and and very well spoken and articulate and felt a little manipulative but she wasn't like this scary like you right. know we're so used to seeing the Medusa with the snakes out and Rithering and, and whatnot, and have it being, um, you know, ha have it, you know, being pretty frightful to look at, and they, they kind of went the classy route. So, um, you know, it's not, uh, you know, sometimes when you see, uh, you know, directors or, or filmmakers or what have you take creative liberties with a character that's um, been well established in other stories, sometimes that can go pretty wonky right but i think they did a very good job with medusa here i was really impressed and overall a cool story um you know that that shot when they were in the basement you just saw all the statues and like wow she's taking out a lot of people um you know as as mason quinn had said i know the story a little bit so it was interesting that they they went through with uh, the removal of her head that wasn't yeah, really that. sure if that was gonna happen yeah. you know it feels like a lightish tail um you know i think it was curious that they did it when she was invisible like how can we <laughs> so how can show. we how can, how can sure. we remove somebody's <laughs> head in the least gruesome yeah. least violent way possible make her uh invisible and then lop off the head and then have him just go like this and it's then when fly. he takes it out it was you know from the yeah. back so i mean a, a very creative job but a job very well done and again for for taking a little bit of creative liberty with uh with a very popular historical character or fictional historical character i think they did a great job mm -hmm. and they used the storyline to further the story meaningfully mm -hmm. thought it was a good one yeah. yeah, as a person who knows nothing about anything <laughs> about Percy Jackson, this is actually pretty entertaining. Oh. I was hoping that this episode would have introduced us to, to a little bit more action. The second one had some, it was more mm -hmm. inner turmoil with uh, Clarissa than it was anything else. But now that camp. we're out of the camp, Blank. yep, now that we're out of camp, it was good to see Medusa. I was like trying to pinpoint where was the last time I saw the character Medusa, and I don't even remember. I just remember seeing her somewhere in something not like this you could look at her whatever format that was so with this one it was good to see for the acting out of this that none of them they had to sell don't look don't look you know that whole <laughs> thing so i thought that was great because for me it's refreshing 
because I, with everything that we've been watching, you know, it, there's not, yeah, there's not that character, you know, it's always <laughs> out of eye. Here it was just kind of cool to finally see, oh, yeah, I'm not looking. But uh, Annabeth, she, there was a couple moments there where the way they shot it made it look like she was trying to make a little eye contact, yeah. but still didn't matter. With, uh, <laughs> with the way they used, I'm surprised they didn't take it. I'm sure they're following the books or whatever they're following here to for that. But I was I was thinking they were gonna the way he just nonchalantly did that. <laughs> I thought I was like, all right, so we got a weapon going on this journey. That now anytime you know she could be like some words of wisdom potentially, things like that. But no, Lynn uh, Lynn Manuel. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that was great to see him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just has the head and showing whoever on the six hundred floor. So that was kind of cool. Uh, Causeway. Yeah, so I'm actually pretty intrigued here. Quinn is the uh, probably the most seasoned around this kind of thing, so it's kind of interesting a little bit to see you get excited because I'm like, all right, something must have happened that all oh, you probably know already. I'm like, all right, so I'm gonna have to kind of figure that out as we go along here. Oh, that makes it fun. Yeah, no, I, I'm not complaining. I think it's pretty, uh, it's pretty good so far. So I'm looking forward to the next episodes. Hopefully, we keep getting the action, kind of building on top of each other. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty excited for this quest to keep on going. So. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, there, it does give me some Potter vibes here and there with some of the tones of the music. Yeah, yeah. and just because how invested we are, I am in Potter. It does give that. I can't help but kind of compare some moments. So. <laughs> Yeah, kind of, kind of interesting. Potter. Potter. <laughs> Your favorite part had to be the gargoyle. So here we are on the quest, and cool we, call are, we're, we are going to keep on going along on this quest along with them. So for Diamond, Dave, Appleton, Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.